Devil Dragon! Oops, Devil Dragon 2. Does this have a name other than Devil Dragon 2? Or is it just Devil Dragon 2? Double Dragon! Oh yeah, it's Double Dragon 2. Yeah, there, the Mario's Pacross 2 though I'm not going to be doing because it's uh, apparently um, Japanese only. Thank God. I didn't do that on purpose, but now I'm going to tell everybody I did. Hey, it's been so long since I've uh, had to set up a game. I think I got everything set up. I just need to change my uh, stream title. It seriously has been forever since I've had to change this. Double Dragon! I can't help saying that. What is wrong with me? I think that's really racist, but I can't figure out why. Alright, we're gonna go normal one player. What was it? What was what? No, it was... It was... Luckily, it was not Hyper Load Runner into, uh... And God damn it! I forgot to write down my time for Mario's Cross. I'm gonna have to go back in my VOD and check that. It was Hyper Load Runner into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different games, and then Mario's Cross. Actually, ten. I forgot Roadster. So I did ten games in between Hyper Load Runner and Mario's and Mario's Cross. But to be fair, one of them was College Slam, which was boring as shit. Um, play Action Football, which is a good game. But boring as shit. Uh, Dr. Franken 2, which was okay. Die Ma, or however you pronounce that, that German game with the. Um, I can't remember the name of it, like Isometric or whatever. I think it's Isometric. Layout, that weird ass game that took me forever to beat, and that was boring as shit. So it's been a, like a string of boring games. And it's actually made me enjoy Hyper Load Runner more. After the Black Warriors were gone, it was very common in the streets of New York. Again, Billy something. I couldn't read all of it. God damn you, game. <sighs> Who's supposed to read this? Gordon, bring Billy here. Thank you, Cry Eric. I appreciate that, bro. Oh, get kicked in the fucking nuts. I actually... I feel like I need to point this out since I'm playing Devil Dragon 2 on the uh, Game Boy. I actually hold the world record for Game, Boy, uh, Game Boy's Devil Dragon 1. Which I uh, want to go back to that game sometime and improve the world record because it's very improvable. I fucking got uh, RNG screwed on Devil Dragon 1 and lost uh, like 20 seconds or something at the very end of the game. So, I'm disappointed. Hyah! Hadouken! This game is so much cooler than Double Dragon 1. I know, um, a lot of people look at Double Dragon 1 as the better one, but this is just awesome. Yeah, it's sure you. I can never remember. Screw Street Fighter, that game sucks. No! Fuck you! Sure you can. I've never been a um, fighter game person. I gotta say, the combat is much easier in Double Dragon 1, though. Because... Like, you can... I feel like your range is kind of shit compared to them. In Double Dragon 1, it's much easier to get the hits off, so... Boom! I need to remember that's in the game where I can get along with that. I wish there was a jump. It's so weird that there's not a jump. Fuck. You know, it's funny though, I love- I hate- I absolutely hate fighter games. I hate them. With an almighty passion, I hate them. I think they're just the dumbest fucking things in the world. I love watching them. Don't know why. I don't like watching Smash Brothers though, which is kind of weird because I think that's like, you know, the creme de la creme of fighting games in most, people eye, most people's eyes, but I think Smash Brothers is boring as shit to play and watch. But, uh, what was it, Evo that just happened? I watched the shit out of Street Fighter, man. And then shortly after that, there was a um, tournament in, like, Tokyo or something like that for, like, Street Fighter 2, I think? 
I'll watch the shit out of that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! You motherfucker, I said don't hit me. Oh, he's gonna duck me. Uppercut! Fuck, fuck, fuck! I was trying not to die. I was trying desperately not to die. Fuck! He's gonna, he's gonna duck me! What the hell's the FGC? Ooh, he just fucking liver blowed. Liver's fucking hurting after that one. Hit me with the fucking liver blow. There it is again. Why do you keep doing this to yourself, Josh? He's gonna duck you. Why do you keep doing this to yourself, Josh? He's gonna duck you. Oi! Motherfucker. Oh, fight game community. That makes sense. Hoi! This guy, man, he's got infinite life. Die, motherfucker! Woo! Before he's losing another life. I, uh, I just don't like fighting games, because, like... I don't know. If you're not good at them, they're boring as shit. And to be good at them, it requires a massive amount of time investment. And I've never played a fighting game with a uh, ranking system. So you just play anybody, and that just sucks. And I've never wanted to, like, get good at a fighting game. So whenever I play a fighting game, I just play a fighting game, you know? I just goof around and just pretty much mash buttons and do stupid shit. And then you get people that have, like, invested. Yeah, I know Street Fighter has a ranking system. The last fighting game I played, well, I guess technically the last fighting game I played was on here during the GBE, but like the most newest, the newest one I played was some uh, game Mortal Kombat one for the Xbox 360, and this was forever ago. It was at my buddy's house. He had just he got it for some reason, and it had um, you know had online. So I was like, I'm gonna try it online. Just fuck it, why not? I got on there, got fucking absolutely destroyed. I'm like, yeah, fuck this. This is why I don't play fighting games. I don't enjoy them. I'm good at like, okay, so I take that back, I said I'm better than my friends at every single genre, I forgot fighting games. Both of my friends are better than me at fighting games. But in my defense, they both really, really enjoy fighting games, and have actually put a decent bit of time into fighting games to try to get better. Whereas I hate fighting games, and I avoid them like a plague. Why is there not a jump button, dude? Man, fuck you, dude! Who's you? Who's you? Oh, this guy is fucking... Feel my wrath. Feel my wrath! Oh! 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 Dude, that was like the easiest stage ever. I just obliterated that fucking stage. Hashtag, here I come for the world record. That was actually a really, really insane stage. That boss is a joke, too. I didn't even fucking... He didn't even attack me once. This makes me want to play Streets of Rage or Golden Axe. See, I never played those growing up, either. It's weird because, like, uh, when it comes to speedrunning, people always say, play a game that you grew up playing and you love and shit like that. I can't do that because, like, me, when I grew up, most of the games I feel like I played were Mario games. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but, like, everybody speedruns those, so, I mean, you got some stiff fucking competition there. But, no, like, thinking back on all the games I played, I don't feel like I had a variety of games I played, so... Yeah, at least, yeah, exactly. I was giving shit to Toad's boot about that. Because, uh... He said he was done with Minish Cap for a while. You son of a bitch! I knew they were going to kick me off the edge. I was trying so hard to avoid that. 
trying so fucking hard to avoid you bastards kicking me off the fucking edge, and you fucking go and do it anyway. But Toads is just talking about how he was going to give up Minish Cap, and uh, he was running Spirit Tracks. I was like, at least you're not running fucking, you know, Ocarina of Time or something, so whatever. And I said it like yesterday too, I have nothing against Ocarina of Time speedrunners or Majora's Mask speedrunners or Super Mario 64 speedrunners or anything, it's just I'm so sick and tired of seeing everybody and their brother join the speedrunning community and either pick one of those three games or like some random fucking uh, indie game. It's like, come on. Like on our speedrun, a guy posted his um, Terraria PBs. Like, two days in a row. Or, cause like, he got one and then, like, 19 hours later, he posted a new PB. So I looked at the Terraria, um, leaderboards. It's so silly. There's like, five different... Like, you'll see if you type in Terraria and it says Game Series. Terraria. I'm like, what do you mean Game Series? The reason why is cause they have like, five different patches that they accept, um, runs for. Holy shit, that does so much damage. So they have five different patches that they accept runs for, and then you got a bunch of different, um... Oh, that hurts! You got a bunch of different, like, categories in each one of those patches, so you got, like, killing this boss or this boss, and then on this difficulty or this difficulty, I'm like, what the fuck? Oh god, that does so much damage! I'm not going out like this. I am going out like this. Oh my god, this game's gonna take me forever to beat. Oh wait, okay. It was like, what the fuck, do I not get to continue? <laughs> Dude, that fucking clear distance. Motherfucker! Home run contest, no shit! Get off me! I don't know, I'm like, I'm all for people speedrunning whatever they want to speedrun. I just, I get sick and tired of the, the lack of variety sometimes, like I said with Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Super Mario 64, the lack of uh, variety just kind of drives me insane, and then, um, a lot of people, like me and Toads were talking about it yesterday, I think a lot of people are so focused on world records and shit, that that's why they go to doing like indie games and shit. Cause like nobody, like, hey, nobody's running this random indie game that I played, thought was okay. I'll speedrun this. Oh yeah, that's my, I mean, like, I'm not gonna sit there and fucking throw a fit because they're doing Terraria speedruns. My biggest, honestly, I have no problem with Terraria speedruns. My issue is the fact they have like 17 different patches that they do speedruns on. That's silly as shit. Yeah, I just did. <laughs> I just, I was going up and down instead of, um... I'm just standing there like I did that one boss, or like walking back to the left. Because he fucking stands up and shoots. I wish the, like, this little thing worked better, but you gotta be so close because the distance that you jump out isn't that far. Because that's just so much cooler. Motherfuck you got Bitch 
You're still not dead. What is the matter with you? This game's really weird, though, because, like, Double Dragon 1, you're always moving to the right. And, like, you kill a few... I was actually thinking about it. I was like, yeah, this game's not too bad. I might go for it. I, I really want to... Like, there's so many games I want to improve the world record on, though, or improve my time on. And Double Dragon's one of them, because, like I said, I lost, like, 20 seconds. It was a g pretty good run, and then I got to the end and just RNG wall screwed me over. But, um... No, Devil Dragon 1 is like, you just constantly walk to the right. You kill a few, walk to the right. Kill a few, walk to the right. Here, like, you kill some enemies and it's like, well, you're stuck on this area for a while because you're just going to beat the shit out of enemies. They just didn't want to put any time into, like, making backgrounds in this game. You know, it's, uh, it's sad, too, because I've had a Taz, a work-in-progress progress Taz for, like, two years now of Double Dragon 1. really pisses me off. Because I tazzed almost the entire game in one night, and then uh, I got stuck on the stage 4 boss, and there's only 5 stages. I got stuck on the stage 4 boss. And then I finally got that worked out, and I found some time savers, so I re pretty much the entire game, because the game gets way out of sync if I fuck with anything, so I had to pretty much re the game. I've re that game about like five or six different times now. And I'm stuck at the stage four boss again. Because there's this weird like frame shit going on where if you don't get a good frame you can't get the really quick fight. So I re the entire game for, the, I don't know how many different times now, and I got to the stage four boss and I was like, fuck. And I gave up. And it's just been sitting there. Forever now. Plus, PPL called it boring, and so that hurt my feelings. What the fuck? What the shit? Why is Jason in the game? Yo, Jason, chill the fuck out. He's doing three health per jump attack. Yeah, exactly. I thought a gun was cheating. No, the chainsaw's terrifying. It's as big as I am. Dude, this jump attack is bullshit. I'm about tired of your shit, Jason. And I'm, I really want to finish with jump kicks because if it's like Double Dragon 1, Double Dragon 1, the uh, finisher with the kick is much more dam a, mu a bunch more damage. But this one's also weird. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! That's two bosses and two bosses now where I fucking kill them with zero health. Um, this game's also weird though because I can only like combo... Or maybe if I try with the fist first. All right, yeah, see? There we go. Yeah, this game's weird, because, like, the most you can hit get in a single combo is three hits. Devil Dragon 1, it's four, and you can kill every single enemy in four hits except for bosses. The punch deals two, the kick deals three, the jump kick deals five, the punch finisher deals six, and the... Kick finisher deals seven. So the highest damaging combo you can do is punch, kick, punch, kick. Dude, this is bullshit. Now I'm fighting two bosses at once. Thankfully they have like reduced HP. Fuck. Motherfucker. Can I get a pizza? Pizza? No pizza. Lovely. I don't know, what did they eat on Double Dragon games? What did they heal with them? Yeah, Pacross is finally over. I didn't do- I decided not to do time trials because, uh, I don't know if you can actually, like, beat all 64 of them. 
because it randomly gives you one, and honestly, I'm just fucking sick and tired of Cross. Please tell me this stage is done. Yeah! These, like, mid-stages. Because it seems like everything does the same thing. You got the outside, you got the street fight, then you got the, like, uh, in the subway fight, then you got on the subway fight. Yeah, I didn't do the easy stages either. I actually did a few of those after I realized that I didn't. That the Yoshi icon was for the easy stages. I went and did some of those. Dude, those are easy. Motherfucking piece of bat shit! I gotta remember I can jump on them, man. Dude, that's not fair. Motherfucker. Those guys beat the shit out of me. I'm trying to do it the cowardly way. Courage would be proud of me. Fuck! Get up! Get up! You're okay, Bimmy. Yeah, that's yeah, that's because um, cry. I think it was Cry Eric. He found a, a wiki link for it, and it's, it says that it just gives them to you randomly. So, it doesn't seem to be a way to actually keep track of it or anything. So I was like, fuck it. It gets me out of playing across. I'll count that as game over. See what I mean, though? Like seriously, you play like you just fight a shit ton of enemies in the same area. This game is so weird. Double Dragon 1, they put a hell of a lot more effort into it. I think the worst thing about speedrunning this compared to uh, Double Dragon 1 is in Double Dragon 1, you can knock them off the cliff. Fucking yes, another stage done. And say another stage where you're just starting on the edge of a platform. They put very little effort into this game compared to uh, Double Dragon 1. I thought I was jumping off there. They put very, very little effort into this game. Which is weird, because like I said, I mean, Double Dragon 1, I think they put a lot more effort into. But Double Dragon 1, the best thing is, you like, these edge kills, like right here, they're just everywhere on the game. So if you play through double if you play through Double Dragon One correctly, you can knock people off the edge like crazy. Oh, that's bullshit! I should have got hit. Right, so you can do four hits, but it has to be you have to use your fists. Fuck! 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 Ah. You know, I'm worried by the fact that uh, at one stage I had a double boss. I don't want another double boss. There we go. Remember to do that this time. Who's gonna be the boss? Who's gonna be the boss? Yep. Oh, new right, yep, 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 boss. Just you guys. Thought we were on the boss already. I'm getting ahead of myself. Missed. Bitch! When do I get a one up, man? I have 75,075. Zero. Yeah! Where's he going? Scared of you, bitch. Come on, motherfucker. Oof. Oh, so do you guys know Indy Swee? 
Some girl, I know you do. Cry Eric, do you know Indy Swee? He, um, he has been playing Resident Evil 7 Virtual Reality. And he has some clips of him playing that. Dude, it's the funniest fucking thing ever. I'll link the website that has the clips. It's fucking terrific. I joined his stream while he was sitting there fucking watching those clips. And I found, I found, I was able to see the website. It's just, it's fucking terrific. Come on, motherfucker! No! Get up! Get up! Die! Please die! Yes! Oof! I'm on a fucking roll, man. I lost both my lives, like, almost immediately. Yeah, third boss, zero HP, dude. I fuck- I'm Clutch Master! I wonder if this might be the fastest way to kill him. Knock him down, and then jump on him. I think that might be how the speedrun does it. Dude, why didn't Mo put this in for the Tiny Ten? This game's baller. It's funny because he actually put um, Double Dragon One in, and let me tell you, Double Dragon One speedrun is fucking tough because there's so many ways to die. I know Mo didn't like this one too much. I think like everybody that's doing a. Um, Game Boy Challenge, like, almost all of them said they preferred the first one over the second one, which is, I mean, I don't blame them. So far, I prefer the first one as well. What's up, Starvin' Struthers? When's the next Taz, man? Actually, you know, I was just talking about, uh, Double Dragon Taz that's been on hiatus for fucking, like, almost two years now. You want to take that over for me? Get it finished? I mean, this is definitely fast. Look at this. It's definitely faster than, like, kicking the shit out of them. But... I don't know. I think the worst thing about this is lining up the enemies is a bitch. We're working on making a shmup right now. Making a shmup? Oh! Ah, Tazin's easy, man. So I think every single fight can just be beat this way. You just gotta kick, like, right before they get to you, and they'll just walk into the kick. You know, just don't let them dodge you like that. Fuck! Fuck! Get up! Not like this! Not right after I said it's going to be easy. Why do I talk? Every time I say something, I look like an idiot. I'm done talking. I hope you guys have uh, some good music to listen to. God damn it. Every time I say something's easy, instantly, instantly eat my fucking words. Yeah, apparently, um... You do, but they're weird as shit, because you go all the way back to the main menu, it looks like you game over and you're just done. And it's like, hey, do you want to continue? It's like, okay, yeah, sure. I don't know how many. It doesn't seem to tell you how many continues. Toad's Woo is finally talking in my Discord about the picture of the reindeer. Ouch, mother... That's, that's it, motherfucker. <laughs> That's a pony says what he spawns with. He just refuses to believe reindeers exist.
I mean, this is definitely the faster fighting style, though. It's just, like I said, the big issue is, uh, right there, they can easily sidestep it or upstep it. The bosses, I think, though, if you do them correctly and don't have them dodge you, which the biggest issue is, like, same with Double Dragon 1, they can, uh, duck under your jump kick. I think that's the biggest thing, is just trying to do the boss fight without jump kicking. So it's trying to stay, like, the perfect distance. It's weird, in Devil Dragon 1, the Taz is actually really, really cool for the uh, first boss fight, because I purposely have him dodge my uh, my kicks, my jump attacks. I just said, you know, you don't want that to happen. But in the Taz, I purposely have him dodge him, because he actually still takes damage. So when they duck the... Um... Man, this guy's kicking my ass. So when they dodge the... Dude, that does so much damage! Dude, this guy is fucking... Oh my... Stop it! When they dodge the uh, jump attack, though, it still does damage to him, which is really good. Dude, this guy's a fucking monster! I'm having no issues with uh, any of the other bosses dodging my jump kicks. I mean, they did every once in a while, but this guy, he's dodging every single fucking jump kick. Even when I went for a... Um, he's dodging every finisher. Even when I went for a punch finisher, he dodged it. Dude, will you stop? Thank you. One thing that's nice is since this game doesn't have a jump mechanic, there is no uh, platforming sections. Because some of the jumps kind of suck ass in Double Dragon 1. I love how I'd use one continue, one continue, all the way until this fucking boss. And then I've used two continues already on him. God awful platform is essentially the Double Dragon experience. <laughs> Double Dragon 1, it's not too bad. I mean, there's just a few sections where it kind of sucks. See, like, getting the first kick is easy as shit, because he just walks to you, and you kick, and he walks into it. It's trying to do a finisher. And if this game is like Devil Dragon 1, you have to kill a boss with a finisher. Like, you have to knock him down. Oops. Attack soon. I'm just trying to get him to the point where I only need to land one finisher. I wonder if I can just walk forward and grab him. No, like, yeah, but I was able to, like, do the, um, yeah, like, the finisher, but, like, you're too far away, so you don't do a special finisher. I was able to do that, and this guy's kind of not letting me, because, see? Right as I go for finisher, he dodges it. You fucking prick. Don't jump on me. Don't fucking- God, dude! Eat a dick, man. Yeah, I had, like, he dodges almost every single one of your finishers. 
it's so easy to kill because the boss, the bosses, you can easily just have them keep walking up and down and then land the kick. But you gotta land that finisher, man. I died because he hit me, what, twice. And when I was going to fucking land a finisher, he dodged it. That's silly. Beep. But yeah, the stage 2 boss, like, I was able to do it without doing a jumping finisher. Which is less damage because it just registers as a kick instead of a finisher move. But it's undodgeable. The finishers are dodgeable, which sucks. Again, I'm going based off my experience with Devil Dragon 1. Playing it and tazzing it, so... Dude. Alright, fine, I'll kill this guy. Fucking asshole. People coming out of the elevators? Nope. So little effort into this game. Move just a little bit, fight a shit ton of enemies. Move just a little bit, fight a shit ton of enemies. Most fighting games, it's seriously like. Triple A developer. Oof, man, that guy just got fucking toasted. No, you prick! I missed my fucking jump attack now because of you. Oh, I, I think I dodged the gunfire. That's impressive. Ouch. I love how this was a previous boss, and now I'm just beating the living shit out of a ton of them. But even better, the fact that I'm landing the uppercut into the uh, jump knee and it's killing him just like a regular enemy. Oof. Miss. The gun guys, man, I'm so scared that they're gonna shoot me. They don't give you health in this game, man. Or one-ups. Fuck. I say Devil Dragon 1, I know they do give one-ups. Fuck! They don't get health, though. So. Hey, I'm going left for a change. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ha! I can land the uppercut on bosses? That's awesome. You have to get out! You have to get out! Alright, I'm done with the uppercut. Fuck the uppercut. Don't do the finisher, Josh. Don't do the finisher. You got this. Fuck this boxing guy. The stage... The fucking stage one boss is, like, the second hardest boss in the game so far. They really fucked up when they decided to uh, put the bosses where they did. Because he kicked my ass the first stage, and he just kicked my ass again. Oh yeah, some girl, if you're still here, I talked to Mo when he joined my stream yesterday and asked if uh, he decided on the 10th game yet, and he said he thinks he's going to go with uh, Wave Race or whatever that he was talking about in Discord. Yeah, must be. You know, two people control the uh, Game Boy at one time. Dude, that'd be amazing. It always honestly, it surprises me how many link cable games there were for the uh, Game Boy this. I don't know anybody that used it. The only time... I, I think the only time I used it when I was a kid was for, um... 
uh, Pokemon. Well, Mo really wants Wave Race in there because he doesn't like the world record video. <laughs> How many times you want to do this to me? The um, guy like just recorded it. Like he re like, he's playing a on a Game Boy SP, and he's just got like a webcam or a yeah, some type of recording device just recording. So like you can see like part of his room and then like his hand. And then, so it doesn't look good as a video. This is on emulator. I have like the actual console and everything, but I hate how it looks. Quality wise, it looks like crap. So I have a Game Boy... I have a GameCube and a Game Boy Player attachment, but I never use them because it just looks like crap compared to emulator. Let's not get my ass kicked by this boss. Uh, BGB. This is Bimmy. I don't care what anybody says, this is Bimmy. I still love that typo. Best typo ever, hands down. Fucking uppercut it to death. Oh, this is a boss rush. Awesome. Yeah, it's Jason. This is probably one of the hardest fights because you can't really get him to just like, walk up and down. Yep, BGB. No problem, man. Um, other accepted emulators for speedrunning, if that's what you're wanting to do, is um, Gamebate, or how do you pronounce it? G-A-M-B-A-T-T-E. You can do that emulator, or you can do... Bizhawk with the game back core or the BGB core. I don't know if it has a BGB core. This is definitely Jason. You can't tell me looking at this it's not Jason. Right. Oof. Oof. I went for the uh, jump kick. Yes. Oh, no, bad idea. Bad idea. Hey, Toads. Um, yeah and no. I guess it depends on how you want to look at it. In my eyes, I beat it. And that's all that matters. My eyes. Because I didn't beat the time trials, but I'm not seeing how it really be possible. Yeah, um, well, again, if you're... For accurate emulation, you don't want to use uh, VBA anyway. VBA does not accurately emulate. Again, I'm talking speedrun wise. I use BGB because I also speedrun Game Boy games. So you want an accurate emulator. Mother flicker! Don't die, don't die. We got this. Fuck! We don't got this. Ah, oh, of course he's gonna die right after I die. Ah, oh, fucking boss rush. Why? No! My arch nemesis. No, don't you jump on me, you fucker!
Yeah, the time trials, like, there's 64 time trials, but they're random. So, like, you can't really sit there and select them. And on top of not being able to select them, uh, like, they just randomly give it out to you, so I don't know. I mean, I could technically do it, and I just have to, like, kind of keep track and just keep trying over and over and over again to get one I haven't done, which I have no desire to do. That game is driving me nuts, dude. Fuck Mario's Cross. Shit. Yes! Yes! Hey, yeah, what's up? Right Money is now hosting up to four viewers. That's always so weird to me. Up to. Why is it up to? Oh, for, for the love of... Please tell me this is the end of the stage and I don't gotta fight him. I have one HP and one life. That's my last life. So at last you've shown up. Why does that say Billy? His name's Bam 8. I didn't do it. Believe me. Yeah, that was my big issue, some girl. He also wrote your name. Someone is trying to frame me. Nail me? What the hell? Frame. Frame. The word you're looking for is frame. <laughs> Nail you? Who do you think it is? That guy. Anderson. So you found out. I'll have to get both of you. God, text goes so slow. Nail me, let's go! Don't worry, I'll take over the scorpions. Oh, thanks, bro. That was my big concern. Fuck! Fuck! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! I said don't hit me! I said don't hit me! How do you not understand basic fucking English? God damn this last stage, dude. But no, I mean, some girl, that was my big issue with this. You can really use the random guessing to help you figure out what's going on. But without the random guessing, it's a giant amount of uh, trial and error, which I had no desire to do. I sat there and messed around with one for a while, and I was like, dude, this sucks. I don't want to do this. This guy uses Tatsumaki. How is that fair? I know, right? I have no idea what the fuck you just said, but exactly. Where did I lose all my lives that last time? What the shit kicked out of me? I think it was just collectively on the bosses. I don't think it was like one area. No! I do not know my Street Fighter. Okay, you want a list of the game the Street Fighter games I've played and beaten? There's your list. I'm done. I was talking about this earlier. If you were here, you would have heard. I don't like fighting games. I'm a pacifist, so I don't like fighting games. Now let me beat the fuck out of these motherfuckers. No, uh, some girl, it is still tri uh, trial and error. Like, one of the puzzles I had was, uh, the middle was 12, 13, 14, 14. And then, like, a bunch of other shit on There's no way I can figure out exactly where that four- even- even with the high number, like, 14, there's still no way I can tell where exactly that ends up. So I'd have to pretty much solve, like, a lot of the puzzle, and then figure that out. So, I mean, you can guess a lot of it, or put in, like, the stuff that you know for a fact. Like, the 14, I know for a fact, like, this this portion is going to be colored in. But that only gets you so far. At some point in time, you're going to have to start guessing. Man, this guy's fucking... Dude, knock it the fuck off! Fighting and punish punishing thugs for kidnapping your girlfriend, too, and things. Damn right. Fuck! I just died here. Really? This is not going well. That guy in the elevator, man, he just was being a prick. 
I did not mean to do that, but I'll take it. I mean, I meant to do that. You are wrong, some girl. I will stand by my opinion wholeheartedly. There's no way to do Pacross without guessing every once in a while. You know, like, some of them, like, yeah, some of them you definitely can do it without guessing, but I think on some of them, you just can't. Because I was looking at it, the one I did, even with it pretty much filling up the mid, the middle, I just couldn't figure out how I was ever going to fucking do that. I'm not even going to fight with this one, girl, because you're wrong. Just plain wrong. Like I said, you can definitely do it without guessing, but... It'd become a like trial and error thing, especially with the time trials, because it'd be uh I'd fill out as much as I can and I'd keep kinda get doing that and then I'd get to a point where it's like, well I don't know where this nine goes, but I have like five of it filled out. Oh don't don't oh, he didn't jump attack, thank goodness. He jump attacked! He jump attacked! Yeah, I'm well aware it's logic, but I'm also saying that it's also trial and error. Because you can't know for an absolute fact where everything goes. Just like Sudoku. If you ever play, if you ever do Sudoku, you can't know where every single number goes you'll get to a point where you know, like, this block contains either a 2 or a 6, but you don't know which it contains, and there's no way for you to get that information. So what you have to do is you have to put a 2 there and just go with it being a 2. And then you pretty much solve it as if it's a 2. If it doesn't solve correctly, then you know, hey, that's a 6. Ouch! 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 I don't need health. Fuck you. Come on, motherfucker. Get up. Shit! 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 Damn it! I maintain it's absolutely impossible to do Sudoku without guessing every once in a while. You have to do tri trial and error on that. There's no way you're telling me that you can do every single puzzle without ever making a single guess. Because I know how to play the game. You get to a point where it's like, okay, I have like 17 different locations this thing can go. And like, the biggest issue is just starting. Because then you start, like I said, I had one where it's filling up a bunch of the uh, middle section. The middle section doesn't really help out too much because you have a bunch of other, like, shit that you need. If it was like, filling up the bottom or top, that'd be one thing, but... Not every game a timer is in the life simulator, regardless of genre. <laughs> is every double dragon like just you trying to get your girlfriend back? still fucking swinging and I'm all the way on the other side of the screen, killing it, the other guy. Oh, what? Oh, why didn't you jump? Sure would be nice if I could get some one-ups or fucking some health. Candy bar. That's how you handle that situation. Ruh row Speedrun strats, minus the getting hit part. 
dude. This fucking screen kept on trying to scroll as I was trying to move, so I wasn't moving. So instead I just sat there like an idiot, kicking at the guy on the ground. Just fucking swat my foot at him. Like, get up! Get up! Alright, now let's not fuck up the boss rush. Fucking playing Mega Man for some reason. I just noticed the pictures. Is that guy- is that this guy's picture? And does it have a picture for all of them? Am I blind? Am I just not noticing this? Boom! Okay, no it doesn't. I thought that was the box would do that thing. Come on, Jason. Damn it! Damn it! Ah! The fucking- Oh, come on! He keeps going for the fucking- I keep going for the finish and they keep dodging. That's the worst thing about the boss fights, man. Them dodging those finishers. I think if I'm really close like this, though, they can't dodge it. it again, that's kind of how it was with, um... Double Dragon 1. Or if you were really close, they just weren't able to dodge him for some reason. Oh, that's not fair. I thought I could hit him, because he just pops on stands there. That's alright, we got this, we got this. No more deaths. No! Not like the Ugh. Ouch. How'd that not kill me? No, not like this. Damn this fucking... Every time I go for the fucking finisher, they dodge it. Can you just stop dodging the damn finisher? And it sucks too, because like, every time they dodge it, you're pretty much screwed because they're going to hit you. How's he not dead? This guy's kicking my ass this time around. And he's gonna dodge the damn finisher again. Dodge the finisher. Motherfucker! Just fucking die! He dodges the finisher. And then he kicks me. Quit fucking- oh my god! He is so beyond dead right now, but he keeps dodging every single fucking finisher. This fucking asshole. <laughs> oh my goodness. Finally! Now that I'm at no fucking HP. There we go. That was fucking annoying as shit.
Man, that was so dumb. I took so much damage because of him dodging my finishers, and he was... He was so beyond dead, too. I guarantee his life was at zero for the longest time, but you just have to finish him with a finisher. You have to knock him down, I should say. Jason's like, Jason's really been kicking my ass too because of his, all of his finisher dodges. Don't try to kick him while he's on the ground, just jump on him. I love the sportsmanship of, uh, Bimmy over here. Just tries to kick him up, but dude, come on, get up, get up. No! Damn it. I really shouldn't be losing a life before the boss rush. All those enemies are easy. I really shouldn't be losing a life at all. All this shit's pretty easy. Quick as shit when you add in that knee. Yeah, he's he he's got so much range, so I can't do the uh, jump attack. What? Apparently, I walked too close to the um, edge, so he just walked to the right. I was expecting him to be on my left. This is a really bad Jason fight. No, don't fucking dodge the finisher, you prick. Jesus. Okay. I'm so sick and tired of. I'm so sick and tired of every single boss dodging the fucking finishers, man. That's why I keep losing all my life to every single fucking boss.
I just need to do every boss like this, like I do the bad guy. Because then I only have to land one finisher. The fight just takes so much longer that way, though. Oh wow, I meant to jump on him, I was sort of moving away because I didn't jump, but instead I fucking just kicked him as he stood up. And jump on me. I waited too long to kick right there, so he's able to get an attack off. This boss rush, man. Somebody pick up the other Game Boy, help me out. Who wants to be a two player? Who wants to be 2P? Because at this point in time, I could really use a buddy. This damn fucking boss rush. Apparently, that's my kryptonite, because that's why fucking. Um, Radical Rescue, Team and T Radical Rescue, that's what cost me a ton of time was the boss rush. Fucking, I hate when they do that, they just kind of stop moving. Like that. So I jump and then just land like right on top of them. Uh-oh. Oh, wow! Right off the start. And he's gonna dodge and kill me. What the 
Jason, dude. Seriously, you still not dead? And I went for a finisher. He dodged it. What? Dude! Stop! Jesus! Fucking! <sighs> that was an entire life on Jason, man. That guy is just kicking my ass. Wow. I tried to do something different there. I was like, well, I can get a shit ton of punches in. I do punches, so let's try punches. Missed, and then he fucking hit me, and then just comboed my entire life down. Because right as I stood up, he hit me again, so I can't even move. I've gotten to the fucking final boss one time, man. That's what I'm expecting them to do right there, but they'll just sometimes not do it, they'll just stop moving.
I really hate when there's like two enemies at once and they stack on top of each other. Because you know you're gonna like, when you hit one of them, the other one's just gonna beat the shit out of you. Damn it, Joshua. Still alive, still alive. We're good, we're good. Hey, come on, Jason. Fucking... That random, like, where he just comes walking up and then just jumps. Right as he gets in line with you. That right there. That gets me every fucking time. Dude, come on. Because it like dodges your kick, and it also, of course, fucking does a ton of damage. Well, that's another fucking entire life to Jason. That fucking jump attack, dude. Literally do anything else, please. Fucking shit out of me. Okay, I just jumped through him, apparently. I'm dead. I'm trying- I'm just trying different things on the big guy because I'm just losing- I was about to say I'm losing time like that matters, but I'm just- it takes- that fight takes me forever, so... I just need to stop getting the shit beat out of me by Jason, man. I fucking get to him and just... What I'm curious about that is like, uh, if I can do that. Cause that, you know, counts as a finisher still. I imagine that's undodgeable. So, I don't think I can though. And like the big issue with like Jason too is the fact that he, he's got so much range that I can't do the uh, back attack with him. He actually has more range than the gun. He does, which is just so stupid. Because you can see the guy with the gun, he'll sit there and be like, uh, 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 okay, now I can shoot. I 
right, we're getting it this time, man. We got it this time. Here we go. The oh, big issue, too, is, like, the hallway right here. I mean, I, I'd like to say I shouldn't be taking damage, but it's kind of hard to... Because there's two of them stacked, so, I mean, a lot of the times, you'll just fucking hit one, jump, and lay on top of the other one, so he'll beat the shit out of you. Dude, come on! He keep fucking- What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me, game? He just sat there fucking doing spin kicks over and over and over again, and I could not do anything. That's nice that I get zero fucking invulnerability frames when I'm standing up. I jumped through him, and then I got fucked because he just got on going to spin cake. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god, that was so dumb. Why couldn't 30,000 points be a 1-up? Or hell, at least fucking HP. I had to just start going over to walls and smacking them with my whip to get random pieces of chicken to fall out. I jumped past the fuck. Attack is so fucking busted. Glass Joe, Jason. That attack is so busted. So, so dumb. Like, the fact that he can walk up and as he's walking up, like, right as he gets in line with me, he's already in midair jumping. And Kingpin. <laughs> I did not mean to jump there. I was just gonna fucking dodge everything, apparently. God damn it, and he jumps on me. That's one of my issues. It's like, like sometimes, like, I don't think I'm moving closer to the wall, but they'll just pop out and they'll move, like, away from the wall. So I'm still staring one direction, expecting them to be there, and they'll just fucking pop out and be. This game is kicking my ass. This game was super easy until, like, this stage. Well, no, I take it back. It was super easy until the big guy, and I was stuck on him for a while. And then... Stuck here. Yeah, which was like TMNT, where you had, like, the special move that took, uh, HP away, but if you're at no HP, you could just spam indefinitely. But let's just do that. My go-to for um, beat em ups and whatnot, like this, especially like the, the TMT games or TMT games, I felt like the only beat em ups I played growing up. I like doing the jump kick where you jump and then 
do a, like a diagonal down kick or whatever. Do that, and if you do it correctly, you just sit there and like never get hit. You just have to make sure that you're like really close to them, so when you jump, you kind of slide on their back. And they just never seem to actually attack you. My timer, half my game timer has been me on uh, the stage. What? When it's triple dragon. Never triple dragon. Always double dragon with a bunch of numbers after it. Get out of the corner. We already saw what happened over there. Pretty good, uh, first two floors. Now you just gotta do well in the boss fight. No! Fuck. I moved my position so I would do a fucking good jump attack. Should be dead. <laughs> See, like, right there, he just walked out of the fucking, like, screen. And then he does that bullshit fucking stupid fucking stop doing that fucking attack! So fucking busted, dude. Cause like, I'm in the middle of fucking attacking every time he does it. Cause he's walking up to me so I do a fucking kick. And he just, nope, he jumps before he even gets hit by the kick. And I can't dodge the damn thing. Every fucking time with you. I get there with like a bunch of lives. And he just, he just destroys me. Stupid fucking jump attack. Dude, jump. Sometimes the, um... Like, the jump attack is just super fucking delayed. So I'm, like, spamming the buttons to do it, and he's just sitting down there in a crouched position. So, like, three times in a row it happened. So he just fucking kept on kicking the shit out of me. Such a waste of fucking life. Now you're gonna do it instantly?
Yeah, there's that solar charge. Hey! Finally got here again. Only took me about a million fucking tries. Now I'm gonna have to sit through this cutscene and then die. Because I have 3 HP. Ah, why? Why? And who makes cutscenes unskippable? Like, honestly, I should have just purposely died on the big guy. Just so I didn't have to sit through this. And then just try again with a decent amount of life. Nail you? And who do you think it is? And I just love this. What a cash I <laughs> just comes running out of nowhere and just does a j jumping spin kick. I have bits, you get bits! Thanks, Delete. Appreciate it, man. Five more lovely shiny bits. If I can keep this up, and then I just gotta knock him down one time. Question is, how long do I go doing this? That's what I'm wondering too. Because I got him, you know, stunlocked here. So if I can keep doing this... Well, I have to knock him down eventually, some girl, because, uh... Going off my knowledge of Devil Dragon 1, you have to knock him down for them to die. Every single enemy in the game has to be knocked down to die. They can be at zero HP, and they'll still be standing. Like, you can hit them like a million fucking times at that zero HP, they won't die unless you knock them down. So I'm wondering how many times do I need to kick him before I knock him down. Any hey guys. This game's gotta be better at Cable Link. Oh shit! Yes! Yes! <laughs> I was so fucking scared when he dodged that jump kick. I was like, no! No! <laughs> No, like this. Oh my goodness. Dude, the enemies on this game dodge your finishers like crazy. And I was in there talking about how I wish I would have just died at the big guy. Good job, Billy. We kicked some fucking arse. Staff. And that is my cue to stop the timer. Woo! We did it! We did it! We did it! I'm going back and finding that message from Cry Eric to copy my uh, game time for. Um, Myers for Cross. I appreciate that. Which actually, I just overrode it because I'm an idiot. Alrighty. I have to find the message again. <laughs> Cry Eric, you're a god. Alrighty, righty, righty. And Devil Dragon. Move that over to completed games. Whoopsie daisy. I hate how I have to, like, I don't know what's up with the Google Doc. Every time I move a game over, I have to, uh, like, redo the, like, hit the alignment thing again. 
So I have it set on... Um, you know, like whatever the middle alignment is. Like right in the middle. Center. I have it set on that, but every time I like bring a new game over, I have to recenter it. Which is really fucking annoying. Every time I bring a new game over. Okay. Anywho. Oops. The next game 